trick because he and the wolf want to get You're our right. fish. Aha! Next time, I won't fail. Let's go. Bunny, go get the bag and follow us. Sure thing. <laughs> Put your back into it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, gypsy. Pal, but your little cottontail friend's gonna be my snack time. <laughs> oh, help! Barney, help! Here I come! Book stuff. Think of something. Barney, Gypsy, help me! <laughs> Leave her alone. Hmm. By calculating the speed of sound, I can find the distance. If we don't come up with something right away, Bunny's a goner. Too short, it'll never reach the other side of the river. I've calculated the length micrometrically. It's exactly right. You can do it. <laughs> Yay, Barney, you did it! <gasps> oh. Let's cross over. Don't even think Stop! it! Stop! How did they do that? Let's get out of here! Come back here, you no goods! Come back! Are you all right, Bunny? You can't get away! <laughs> oh, I got you! Oh, please, Mr. Bear, don't hurt me! 
<laughs> you freaking oh, sick! I'll go jump away! Oh, you! Water. I hate water! <laughs> <laughs> Barney, you saved my life! <laughs> oh, I can do all the physical stuff okay, but the truth is all the credit should go to Chipsy here for measuring the width of the river so accurately. How did you do that? Eating it all because of sound. Mm. Not that sound business again. Here's huh? how it works. Sound travels at a velocity of 340 meters per second. It took half a second for my voice to return to the point it started from. Now half of 340 is 170. That's the time it took my voice to make the round trip. Now half of that again is 85, so the river had to be exactly 85 meters wide. You sure are smart. Hey, Barney, what do you think makes our friend Chipsy so much more intelligent than anyone else? Well, she eats those nuts all day long. That might be it. <laughs> no, it's all because of those books I found. Do you remember that magic purse that the wolf and the fox had left behind them? The one you made fun of, because all it had in it was books. Well, it's thanks to those books that I learned a lot of things. And Bunny wasn't captured and ingested. Furthermore, it is also thanks to those books that I learned how to calculate the width of the river and found out that the voice of the monster was just a trick the fox thought up to steal our fish. Let him die, he'll never let me live it down. Are you all right? Thank you for saving me. You're gonna get it, you vomits! What job? What's that you got there? A lightning rod. Oh, a lightning rod? Yes, it's to protect your house. It attracts and neutralizes lightning bolts. <laughs> you trying to make me believe that piece of tin can neutralize lightning bolts? Why, if a lightning bolt fell on this house, it'd explode. That's just what I'm saying. That's why we have to put up the lightning rod. I'll bring it up. Hiding his honey. <laughs> what, the, what are they up to? How's it work? Actually, it's very simple. During a storm, the rod attracts the lightning and sends all its power down into well, the ground. Get you it? Say so. Barney, Chipsy, something terrible has happened. What's the problem, Bunny? Somebody's stolen all of Barney's honey. What? Oh, I know who did it. And those bandits will rue the day they were ever born, believe you me. Get going. Mush. Get going, thank goodness. <laughs> now let's just see here. <laughs> now all I need is a thunderstorm. And at the first flash of lightning, Barney's walls will come a tumbling down. <laughs> They stole my whole summer supply. Woe is me. We're pretty sure who the culprits are, but we've got to have proof. Bunny, you go over there and look for paw prints. You got it! Barney, check every inch of the property. Hmm. Hey, 
Wolfie, come on, get up. I brought you something to eat. <laughs> you did. Oh, guess you, my son. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't your folks teach you any manners? <laughs> oh, please, 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 give it to me. I'm so hungry. Just take it easy. You'll get all you want. Oh, please give it to me. My stomach is a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Taste it. Here. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah. That's not wolf food. I never said it was. It's the honey I stole from that stupid bear. Any minute now, he'll be bumbling along here to get it back. <laughs> Excellent. That darn bear has to be made to pay for that harm he did me. <laughs> I don't care about the bear. This honey is going to lure them straight into a trap. All of them. A trap? What trap? And we'll capture the rabbit and the squirrel. We eat them all <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs>